Muy buenas, gente, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estáis? Estamos aquí en The Witcher 3, estamos con Gerald en Blood and Wine Su expansión, vamos a ver, estamos haciendo la misión principal Que hay que ir hacia... Eh, bueno, tenemos que buscar a la criatura moteada Que es una criatura que supuestamente los eh, brujos extinguieron Pero, como digo, supuestamente Me pinta que es aquí arriba Get a sense that the spoons are beating out some kind of rhythm, a message, trying to tell me something. Ah, esto era las cucharas, recordáis? Recordáis que dijeron lo de las cucharas? ¿Qué será esto, tú? De las cucharas? Carta ensuciada. Marlene, mi queridísima hija, no te haces la idea del dolor que le causa a tu padre. Escribir estas palabras. Un padre debe abandonar a su hija. O su propia hija deja de ser padre y su corazón nunca encontrará consuelo. Por desgracia, a resultas de lo ocurrido no te colecciona. Tenemos que abandonar la casa junto con el servicio. Todo es debido a la maldición que te ha apartado de nosotros y te ha convertido en una criatura irracional y sedienta de sangre. Iremos al norte, a Kobir, y si algún día lees esta carta, lo que solo podría significar que has recuperado tu forma humana, búscanos allí. Hmm. O sea, que el bicho que vamos a ver es una criatura... ¿O es que se ha aprovechado de esta casa cuando la hija se convirtió en algo o qué? Me hace recordar la hija de el rey este, del rey... Joder, lo diré. ¿Cómo se llamaba el rey, tío? Ahora no me acuerdo. Ah, no me acuerdo el nombre, gente. Pero la que se convirtió en una criatura y Gerald la salva. Que es una eh, un fragmento que sale en el libro y que luego lo, eh, lo, lo hace en una cinemática del The Witcher 1. Pero es que ahora mismo no me acuerdo cómo se llamaba. Eh, por mi parte solo puedo eh, prometer que enviaré cada año un emisario para verte Comprobar si está viva y, y de ser así En qué forma La fe que tengo es que vuelvas a ser mi querida Marlene Eso es lo que me da fuerzas para seguir viviendo Tal vez la maldición no dure eternamente Tal vez aparezca alguien que te libere de esta carga ¡Ja <risa> ja! ¡Gerald Ripia! Entonces la criatura moteada En vez de ser una bestia Como yo pensaba Quizás sea... La niña está convertida en algo Tipo una bruja, espectro Un necrófago o algo None shall sit and dine with you at your table No spoon you have shall say to you Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror Sounds like a curse, all right Pues es una niña que la lanza la maldición, gente. Somebody's clearly obsessed. Regis mentioned the place might be cursed. Can't be a coincidence. Need to look around. Y al Gerald que no le da miedo todo esto, ¿sabes? Yo salía corriendo de aquí, pero tú no sabes cuánto, ¿eh? Bueno, en fin. Vamos. Pigsty. Need to search it thoroughly. Find a way to collect some white saliva. Es cierto que las cucharas se mueven al unísono, ¿os dais cuenta? O sea, todas se mueven hacia el mismo lado, casi en la misma dirección y al mismo momento. Estoy escuchando a la criatura. Andando por debajo mía. Pues eran varias criaturas. No escucharon. Craftsmanship must have graced a rich man's table. Diario manchado. Llevo unos días sufriendo mareos. Nunca me habían pasado algo semejante. Si esto sigue así, no soporto la brujería ni la hechicería. Tendré que visitar a un arborista. Los mareos no cesan y lo peor es que, eh, lo peor de todo es que también siento dolores tan fuertes que a veces no puedo ver. Y de la arboristería, una vieja moira repulsiva que me ha mirado como si hubiera visto un monstruo. Me ha dado una mezcla, una maldita mezcla eh, que tengo que tomarme dos veces al día. No me está sirviendo de nada. Hoy como cada día eh, me he mirado al espejo y me he quedado sin palabras. Suelo comprobar. Que no me haya salido ninguna arruga y que no tenga bolsas en los ojos. Pero hoy no hay arrugas. Pero habría eh, preferido que las hubiese. Me están saliendo pelo en los pechos. Uy, creo que bien. Pelo en los pechos. Pelo en las tetas. ¿Quién le gustaría tener una novia con pelo en las tetas? Es horrible. 
Tiene que ser culpa de esas condenadas hierbas. Fui a romperle los morros al arbolista, pero su morada estaba vacía. Debía de saber lo que me ocurría y se ha alargado. Eh, aunque me quito los pelos, mi familia me está... Me está empezando a, sospe está empezando a sospechar algo. Bueno, en fin. Eh, y cada vez cre crece más rápido. Madre mía, se podría hacer trenzas. Eh, he intentado sacarme la idea de la cabeza, pero no puedo aguantarlo más. Puede que no fueran las hierbas lo que me han llevado a esto, sino una maldición de un viejo mendigo que me quité una vez de encima. Tengo que averiguarlo. Quiero contratar a alguien que pueda encontrar al arbolista. No puedo pensar con claridad. Cada vez más es más difícil que soledad, sin familia. Comer, quiero comer. No hay cuchara buena, cucharas vacías. Nada, comer, duele. Espejo, mentiras, no. White's obsessed, a real collector, thoroughbred. Smashed mirror, as if someone couldn't stand to look at themselves. The monster. Journal's author, maybe? No spoon you have shall sink to you. Whatever lives here treated that literally. Still searching for the right spoon. Spoon, pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Madre mía. Hostia. Skeletons. Doubt they came here willingly. This have anything to do with the curse? None shall sit and dine with you at your table. It makes sense. Venga, <ríe> colección de cucharas. Querido maestro Le Bazur, sé que lleva años ganándose la vida persiguiendo a los criminales. No, 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 no vamos a leer todo esto, tío, porque si no vas a estar medio aquí. <ríe> es una carta. Perdón, es una carta que ella envía a un tío. Dice, si resulta que no es culpa del armonista, dejadla ir, por favor. Que, que, que intento enviar a, a unos matones a por la... A por la arbolista. Bueno, lo averiguaremos. Woman's name scratched into this wooden spoon. Romantic. Romántico es esto, lo de marks. Probably choked to death. Le dio un abrazo hasta que se lo cargó, ¿no? Right on, bit right off. Teeth all knocked out. Somebody tried to force feed him. Broken neck. Indentation in the skull's lateral surface. Smacked in the head with something. Qué simpático parece que va a ser la bestia esta. Por criatura, coño, o lo que sea. Tengo unas ganas de verla ya. ¡Madre mío! Ponte un cuiranda. Que no quiero que No, eso no, Gerald. He dicho un cuño. Ya estás ardiendo la casa, cabrón. Actually, does seem like a white's lair. Bit atypical, but still, Aldrin should be somewhere around here. Cucharaban una pasta gente ahí de Brasilas. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last one. White's obsessed. A real collector. Thoroughbred. Que no ¿Qué es eso? Mutaje no verde mayor, toma. Ese mutaje no es bueno. Spoon, pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Table set. White who lives here is getting ready for some sort of feast. White that lives here, definitely afflicted by a curse. And it's been trying desperately to lift it. Cauldron's empty, unfortunately. We just need some brew. Afraid he won't get that. No choice but to hide and wait for the saliva glands and their bearer. Need a spot that'll let me observe the cauldron. Arriba del techo, ¿no? Ah, aquí. Lel. <ríe> ¿En serio? 
verdad, 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 verdad. A meditar. Este hombre se medita en cualquier lado, ¿eh? Algún día lo vamos a encontrar encima de una lámpara meditando. Uy, 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 uy. Qué bonita es. Que lleva cucharas pegadas, tío. Mira, lleva cucharas de repuesto ahí. Ay, qué rico. A ver, yo iba para allá y le decía, mira, dame tu saliva, te mato. Soy un brujo, no tengo problemas a matarte. O sea, ¿Cómo mueve? En... Es bastante guapa. Vamos a intentar romperla. ¿Vale? ¿Por qué la vamos a matar, tío? Si es una pobre niña. Un poco hija puta, pero... Gusta la sopa, está rica, eh. I'm not gonna hurt you. Wanna help? I've seen the words of the curse on the walls. Think I know how to lift it. A ti quiero que saca la espada final y te reviento, eh. Bring folk here, convince them to sit at the table with you, right? Well, I'm gonna be your guest now, your willing guest. Bueno, es una forma de decirme que me siente. Las he visto peores, eh. A ver la cuchara. Vamos a intercambiar las cucharas Vamos a comer usando las cucharas Vamos a comer sin las cucharas Palabras exactas de la maldición Vale, ¿cómo lo hacemos entonces? Vale, vamos a repetirlo Nadie se sentará en tu mesa para cenar contigo Ninguna de tus cucharas te saciará Nunca jamás querrás contemplar tu reflejo en un espejo O sea que lo primero es cenar, ya lo hemos hecho Luego viene la cuchara Si me das una cuchara de esas que tienes en la cabeza, ¿cómo lo ves? Eh... Tenemos que usar la cuchara Es que me mire más de gracia, tío. Fíjate, Gerald, como la mira todo sexy. ¿sabes? Y de repente ya la mira con ojitos de... Me está poniendo ojitos. Yo creo que sí. ¿Será por primera vez que folle Gerald ya en la serie? <risa> pues como sea con esta, madre mía. Vamos a usar las cucharas, va. Vamos a intercambiar. That's why we've swapped. My dear Gerald, ¿en serio vas a comer de eso? Joder, jasco. El pobrecillo. This isn't right. I miss something. Listen, gonna stand up real slow. Gotta search the house again. Sit tight, I'll be right back. Calm down. ¿Qué coño ha hecho, tío? Damn it, didn't work. Eat that vile stuff for nothing. Got the brew for Regis at least. Can't do anything for the white though, except cut it down. Pero porque la. Ah, Dios mío, que rompo los cascos, gente. 
Pero pega una pata, un segundo Que lo vuelvo a poner Que digo que porque, o sea, porque no ha funcionado Porque yo lo he hecho mal No quiero matarla, tío Vale Tenemos un... Vale, 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 ojo, eh Puedo, puedo hacerlo, rehacerlo, quiero decir Estamos aquí en el caldero Vamos a hacer otra opción, ¿vale? Que lo dudo que la haya hecho mal Sino que yo creo que va a ser así, ¿eh? En plan matarla Pero bueno, vamos a probar, ¿vale? No tardamos nada Es que me gustaría salvarla, tío A ver qué pasa que Igual luego está buena, ¿sabes? ¿vale? Intentar romper la maldición, otra vez Vamos a usar las cucharas en vez de intercambiarlas A ver qué pasa Puede comer ¿Por qué no? Otra vez pasa lo mismo ¿Y si comemos sin usar las cucharas? Esto es una mierda como un castillo tío. ¿No? ¿Gente? Eh, va a ser así, yo creo Es que, si no, habría otra manera de maldecir Pero es que ha dicho, mi única opción es matar a la criatura No la vamos a matar hombre. Bueno, o sí Vale También podemos atacarla de primera y reventarla y vamos a... Pero vamos, que no, 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 no quiero hacerlo Vale, otra vez Vamos a comer sin usar las cucharas Repite lo que hago. Okay. Que no, que no. Coge eso y te lo zampas. Dios. Asqueroso, ¿no? Open your eyes. You need to see your likeness. Al reflejo. Ahí estaba. Sí que funciona, gente. Mira cómo era. Hostia, ya me está pasando. Vale, Dios, ¿qué pasa? ¿Qué coño me está pasando? Hostia puta Claro, el reflejo era el plato Todas las maldiciones tienen su truco Como dicen ya Vas a llevar por todo el puto cementerio, en serio. Ya le hemos roto la maldición. Es una mujer. Easy, no te va a hurt you. Eat. I must. Hostia, está vieja ya la pobre. Hostia, no estaba buena, gente. Si yo que saber la mato. Take you 
someplace safe. Joder, colega. Bueno, lo hemos hecho. Corvo Bianco. So I took her by the hand and led her here. Seemed the only sensible place for her. You did the right thing, sir. She should recover quickly here. I'm deeply pleased, finally, to make your acquaintance, sir. Though I do regret the specific circumstances. In all the commotion, I fear I neglected. Ah, sí, había que venir a visitar a este esta Corvo Bianco. And Barnabas Special Fault. Pero hemos venido con esto y cómo mola que me haya dicho eso ahora mismo, ¿eh? Habéis visto cómo ha encadenado una misión con otra. Guapísimo. Nice to meet you, Barnabas Basil. Love to talk more, but got urgent matters to attend to. While I'm gone, please make sure she gets everything she needs. Don't worry, sir. I shall see to everything. She is safe here and in good hands. She'll soon be back on her feet. Might actually take a while. She hadn't eaten anything in over a hundred years when I found her. Horrid. Whatever brought this about? It's all over. That's what matters. Let's now focus on taking care of Marlena. Pensaba que era un nacional, como siempre. I shall see to it. Asked about our guest earlier. Sorry, I was busy with my hunt. Didn't have time to answer. When one gazes at that unfortunate creature, Ahora. the question, whatever happened to her, asks itself. Her name's Marlena. She was once the Ahora very sí. beautiful and proud heiress to the Trastamara estate. One evening, when she was holding a banquet for friends, a beggar came to her gate seeking alms. He had a bowl and a spoon with him. He sat outside her fence and waited. I've heard of the custom. An ancient rite of hospitality that obliges one to give food and drink to such a guest lest he depart hungry. To neglect the custom is to bring great misfortune down upon oneself. Marlena didn't care a whit for the old customs. She drove the man off, saying she'd rather feed the leftovers from her feast to her dogs than to give the beggar anything. The beggar then broke his spoon, cast a curse. She was beautiful, so he said she'd never wish to look at herself in the mirror again. Since she adored feasts, he swore no one would ever wish to sit and dine with her. And as she even refused him the crumbs from her table, he swore she'd never find a spoon in the world that would sate her hunger. A harsh punishment. I imagine lifting the curse was hardly simple. Curses are tricky. They play on irony. Always got to figure out the catches. Marlena had spent decades looking for a way to lift it. Transformed into a white, she stole spoons and lured folk into her home, trying each time to get them to dine with her. Didn't work. So what did? Someone had to sit down and share a meal with her, of their own free will. They had to eat without using spoons and make her look at her reflection. That's it? That was all it required? Simplest solutions are sometimes the last that come to mind. Besides, when you're a white, it's pretty damn hard to find willing human company for a feast. I imagine so. But most importantly, it is now over. Please, don't worry. She will be in good hands here. Vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron Rossell, who went bankrupt, forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman, a truly colorful man. Of Kedweni origin. He was actually a headsman? No, not him, but his great, 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 great grandfather. Hold it. Indeed. Apparently, he was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of ducal headsman in Beauclair. Went about his work with an exceptional penchant. They say he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal vineyards. He never hesitated, not once. Never sliced unevenly, never botched a job. For his exemplary service, the Duke granted him a title and this estate. Monsieur Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Once retired, he settled here and took to producing wine. Sadly, misfortune struck and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade it. Shame that. He gave up making wine? Not at all. He made even more of it. Began throwing wild balls to which he'd invite friends from far and wide. 
in order to treat them to his wine and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. It's the sort of man he was, Monsieur Bolius. Mind giving me a little tour de Corvo Bianco? Not in the least. Follow me, please. I think it would be practical to begin on the hill. Vamos a verlo. Si total esta misión de mira tenemos que hacer, gente, ya sabéis que vamos a hacerlo todo. Sí que es cierto que ya tenemos lo de Behold, sir, your lo del de, trance este de los cojones, explain. la baba, pero bueno, ya se la llevaremos. Pretty vast. Indeed. And now, sir, allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Follow me, please. Yes, I come from a long line of Nos queda nada para subir de nivel otra vez. My father was a major domo, as was my grandfather before him, as was my great aunt. In fact, she was the one to start the tradition. Great aunt? A hard woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going and went there. When she arrived in Beauclair, she signed on as a chambermaid at one of the vineyards, then slowly worked her way up to major domo. She dragged the rest of the family up the same path. Allí es donde se lió toda la mierda, ¿sabéis? ¿Lo recordáis? Donde matamos a la... Por ahí abajo. ¿Os acordáis de este sitio? Aquí abajo fue. Donde matamos a la tía esta, a la lamia. <coughs> The servants' quarters. I occupy the green home. With the Duchess's permission, I have hired a full staff. Their salaries to be paid from the ducal treasure. Nice of her. Not the most sightly part of the estate, I admit. But I think it's worthwhile for you as master of the domain to know where the help stays. Baron Rossell ordered the vines in this part of the estate uprooted and olive groves planted in their place. They look beautiful, especially come spring. Don't look at all bad now, either. Down below lies your vineyard, where we grow a strain of Carfanere. Creo que eso molaría más verlo de día. Oldest, aged in oak barrels. It provides for an exquisite wine with distinct blackberry, wild cherry, plum, and cinnamon notes. Marvelous. I have to try it one of these days. Pues va a estar guay. Si vamos a vivir aquí, va a molar que te cagas. Picturesque. Yes, though it ran dry long ago. During the raucous feasts Master Bolius held, he would order it filled no? with wine. Al puto gato. There's a tale about a guest. Yo digo, yo digo que suena una bestia detrás de la puerta, no era el gato. Estaba ahí. The customer. <coughs> he had suffered great heartbreak and had decided to end his life by jumping into the well. The festivities were coming to a close, and the well was nearly empty when the suicidal guest finally jumped. Instead of killing himself, he nearly broke his legs. To numb the pain, he drank the wine. Drank himself to death? N not at all. When found the next day, he had concluded he'd witnessed twin miracles. The water had been changed into wine, and he had survived. He retired to a monastery in the Jesus. <laughs> Vaya si mola, eh. El sitio que me ha dejado la casa. His wife Nina kept a garden here. A supremely lovely place it was. No me empujes, eh, hijo puta. I agree. Yet nothing stands in the way of restoring it to its former glory and once again planting it with herbs and other vegetation. Vaya ruta que nos está haciendo el loco este. Ah, Follow me, please. Hostia, que guapo el pavo, tío. ¿Lo estáis viendo? El pavo real allí al fondo.
Madame Nina planted diminutive, delicate flowers and herbs here. One might say their aroma still hangs in the air. You're quite the romantic, Barnabas Basil. <laughs> Es un romántico, macho, porque yo no huelo una puta mierda, pero bueno, en fin. Vamos. This served as an additional wine cellar in years of plentiful harvests. Hmm. Bit of work and it'll make a fine stable for Roach. What? Voy a poder arreglar de esta zona. Molaría un montón, eh. The cellars, voila. During Monsieur Bolis's time, wine was kept here, but Baron Rossell used it to store olive oil as well. I took the liberty of cleaning up the mess. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I made while well fighting the Bruxa. Thanks, Barnabas Basil. Appreciate it. Tenemos un baúl y todo. Lo veis en el mapa para guardar nuestras cosillas. Hostia, esto va a volar. ¿eh? Como me dejen crearme aquí la casa en plan, sabes, arreglarlo todo y todo el rollo, va a volar bastante. Me lo va a no me voy a pegar aquí, chaval. As you can see, the facade is how to put it. Slightly stained, but one cannot deny it a certain subtle southern charm. True, though it could use a bit of subtle paint. Esta va a ser mi habitación, ¿no? O sea, mi casa. No debe tener mi habitación y eso. Ahí está el cofre ahí dentro. And welcome inside. On the left is the master bedroom. On the right, the dining hall and kitchen. Upstairs, you shall find the guest room, currently used for storage. Not a bad idea. At the moment, the house is only minimally furnished. Yet I believe we will, together, devise some innovative arrangements. A few paintings, for instance, would breathe new life into the abode immediately. With that, sir, you've seen the full lay of the land. Corfo Bianco is a beautiful estate. But one must admit, time has taken its toll. If, if, forgive me for being forward, but if you were to choose to invest a small sum towards its beautification, consider me at your service on the matter. Think I'll take you up on that. Be sure to come and see you if I decide to do any remodeling. Qué guapo, eh, gente, lo vamos a poder arreglar. Oh, cómo mola. Mentioned the place could stand to be spruced up. Almost decidedly, sir. <coughs> the question is where you would like to begin this rejuvenation. Vamos a hacer un arreglo en la casa. Me gustaría hacer una mejora en el terreno. En la casa. Been thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. The effects were simply breathtaking. Not only did the residence positively sparkle afterwards. But we also made room to display the admiral's armor and weapons, of which he was a passionate collector. Suena bien. Cinco mil. Venga va. It's in your hands then. Make the place shine. I shall get to work immediately. Within a day's passing, I shall have sent for the crew which rebuffed the admiral's residence. They are the finest specialists around. Highly skilled at what they do, it shall not take them too long, I wager. Two days after they begin, your eyes will behold your residence in rejuvenated, beautified state. Is there anything, anything else you require, sir? Pues, a ver cuando me vas a pedir por esto. Got these spacious grounds, but maybe it's time to make them more useful. Oh yes, we certainly should. The way I see things, given your trade, sir, you would be wise to have a grindstone and an armorer's table. A good way to start things off, don't you think? Yeah. 
In my trade, my blades get dull pretty quick. Could use a grindstone. Professional grade. Of course. <clears throat> no one would consider that an unnecessary extravagance, I would wager. Mil, bueno. Then send out for one, please. A high quality stone to be set up in the yard. Of course. I shall send a runner to town at once. I believe you shall be grinding to your heart's content by tomorrow. Will you be needing anything else, sir? My armor needs work from time to time. You know, oil this, reinforce that. Could use a decent work table where I could do all that. Admiral Rompali once hired a specialist who made the finest armorer's tables this side of the Yeruga. I will contact him at once. Vale, no importa la mesa, no está mal. Venimos aquí y le damos siempre que vayamos a una misión, ¿sabes? Vale, lo que pasa es que ya me estoy quedando sin pasta. De momento lo vamos a dejar aquí, ¿vale? Vale, pues ya está. Bibi se llama el mayordomo. Bibi 8, como el de Star Wars. Vámonos. Devuelve la corvo vía con su antiguo esplendor. Hostia, pues esto va a molar infinito, ¿eh? No sé, esto de que tenga su casa y esto, mola. Usar. Libros. Aquí vamos a tener nuestros libros. ¡Eh! Me ha puesto un bufo. ¡Qué guapo! ¿De qué será el bufo? <risa> me cago en la puta. No quiero dormir en esa cama el tío. Colocar trofeo. Vale, todavía no podemos colocar nada. Habrá que esperar un poquito. Nuestro alijo para guardar cosas. ¡Coño! Mira, ahí están todas las armaduras mías que tenían caer morgen. Mirad, la lobuna, la de grifo, todas las reliquias que tenía. Eh, mola. Pues vamos a guardar algunas aquí. Por ejemplo, tengo estas. Toda la armadura viperina Que no la llegué a mejorar Que era la del Gear of Stone Que no lo voy a hacer Porque realmente no me vale de nada mejorarla Cuando vamos a obtener una nueva En esta expansión Así que venga, vamos Además se cogía casi al final Vale, pues... Mira Marlene ¿Podemos hablar con ella? ¿Y esta que va a ser mi... Porno chacha? Ni de coña, vamos Más fea con piedra, tío Vámonos <coughs> Bueno, va a molar esto, sí señor Vámonos Bueno, veamos eh, Misiones, vamos a llevarle esto a Vamos a llevarle esto a nuestro coleguita Está un poco lejos, ¿no? No sé si sale la señal Regis, amigo mío Te voy a traer esta mierda Joder, te has podido ir más lejos, macho Ah, que sigue en el cementerio. Que es que Corvo Bianco está arriba. Está al norte de. de Berkler. Dime que está abierta la puerta ahora, cabronazo. Toda la espada, ya la lista. Nada, que no quiero. ¿Me vas a hacer entrar por allí otra vez? ¿Qué mamón eres? Eres un mamonazo. Ya me los cargué la última vez Fíjate que por aquí hay más cosas Tú, no lo he visto ¿Qué hay aquí, loco? Biografía de vampiros regis De la pluma de Jaskier ¡Oh! Buenísimo Esto habrá que leérselo, ¿eh? Saquear, ¿eh? Voy a quitarle todos los libros que pueda ¿no? <ríe> Le voy a quitar los libros al regis, tú Es joder, cabrón, por vampiro 
¿Dónde estás, machote? Mírale. Think your friend's hand will make for a nice broth? Hmm. You've clearly honed your sense of humor. But we are not cannibals, Geralt. <coughs> I took a fragment of tissue from the hand. It will suffice to prepare some resonance. What did you do with the rest? I cremated it, as our codex commands. A raven told me you'd acquired the necessary ingredient. Me estás espiando, ¿no? Pretty helpful creatures, calling them often. I try not to overdo it, but they can be so useful. As they were now, when I merely needed to be sure I could arrive in time should things go sour. Managed to find alone, but thanks for the thought. Gonna need much longer to finish brewing resonance? Mentioned a last ingredient, too. What about that? That, I fear, might prove troublesome. You see, to use the concoction to summon the memories of one, the solution must contain the blood of another specimen of the same species. Shouldn't be a problem. I happen to know a higher vampire who should be willing to help. Right, Regis? <laughs> it's not that simple, I'm afraid. While you were away, I tried my damnedest to identify a replacement, but, alas, none such exists. Not sure I understand what the problem is. Can't we just draw some of your blood? The blood must be in an agitated state. As I'm certain you know, higher vampires can change their corporeal shell. As our flesh changes, so does our blood's chemical composition. To make a long story short, I shall need to induce in myself a state of strong psychokinetic arousal. In brief, madness, rabidity. And that stands to be very, very dangerous. Dangerous? Why? I mean, you'll still be you, right? True. But I should be highly agitated, in a state of fury. You know better than I that fury cannot be controlled. If you've ever seen an enraged vampire, you know very well that all who find themselves nearby will be in grave danger. How will we handle that? I'd rather not have you lunge at me, claws extended. That makes two of us. But worry not. I've thought it through very thoroughly. Details to follow soon. All right. So what do you want to do? We shall visit Tesha Mudna, an ancient vampire estate. There we will find cages suspended in the air. I will enter one, be confined. You will lure beasts there. Beasts you will then kill. The bloodletting should prove profuse. Abundant enough so that the blood scent will drive me mad. Wild. Tesha Mutna. What's it like? <coughs> it is a place of torment. <coughs> a torture chamber. Long ago, shortly after we'd arrived in this world, one among us named Kagmar developed such a taste of lust for human blood that in one night he could imbibe an entire village. This brought trouble on the entire species. Common folk wearied quickly of living in constant fear. They began to hunt us, seek the aid of mages and witches in tracking us down. So what? Not like they could ever hope to kill you. But they were bothersome. Forgive the comparison, but when did you last enjoy mosquitoes buzzing around your head? In any case, the other vampires decided something had to be done. Kagmar had to be caught and punished. A torture chamber was thus outfitted in the dungeons of Tesham Mutna. Inside it, a cage made entirely of a special alloy of silver, dalvinite, and meteorite steel. Kagmar was captured and locked in the cage, sat there over two centuries, driven to fury time after time, never able to escape. Thus I know the cage will withstand the fury to which we shall drive my humble being. Vale, vamos. See no reason to dawdle. Tesham Mutna. Take me there. In a moment. Just one last thing. What was that? Uh, blood. Oh, the last favor the raven did me. I've also taken some Sangurium, a solution that sharpens one's sense of smell. One drop of blood shall smell like a gallant to me now. You crazy? You're a recovering addict. Your outrage warms my heart, Geralt. But you must remain calm. I have no choice.
As things stand, the die is cast. High time we set off for Tesh and Mutna. My head's spinning already, and you're you're starting to smell quite tasty. And you are starting to scare me. Se da cabrón. We have arrived. The sacrificial chamber of torture and torment lies underground. Sure you know what you're doing? I can only hope I do. Please, let's go. The longer we delay, the less control I shall have of my faculties. I'd really prefer not to hurt you. You lead. Scurvers must be getting close to their feeding ground. Correct. I told you there'd be danger. <sighs> Beyond this wall lies an ancient vampire dungeon. Seen a lot of things in my time. Nothing quite like this, though. My, I feel honored. A man with such a wealth of experience, yet I'm about to show him something new. Now, to open it. Un poco acojonado, eh. How the hell? Bueno, gente. It's an ancient form of protection against unwanted guests. The mechanism which releases the latch reacts only to a higher vampire's blood. Tricky mechanisms, a vampire hideout, fortified, secured. Must have been important to your species once. Toussaint. It shall always be so. During the conjunction, the gate from our well into this one opened upon this land and no other. This was the first place we saw. Nos vamos a quedar aquí, ¿vale? Justo aquí. Volvamos partida. Y vamos a ver lo que nos espera, pero tiene muy buena pinta. Nos vemos en el siguiente vídeo. Hasta pronto. Chao.